Hi. My project today is going to be a Doctor Who project. If you're not a Doctor Who fan, please continue to watch because the technique I'm using is very interesting. I've been a Doctor Who fan for a very long time. And uh, I'll be using the TARDIS today. And the thing about the TARDIS is everybody who sees it, who goes into the TARDIS, <coughs> excuse me, their first reaction is how much bigger it is on the inside. So you see me here gluing some tissue paper and gessoing. The paper I'm using is um, canvas paper. <coughs> and the technique is the um, technique shown by Cat Hands on her uh, mixed media morsel. Um, the uh, plastic wrap technique. I use it several times to give more texture to the background. Actually, this same technique, using, uh, using the plastic wrap several times, is also shown um, by Studio Silver Creek. We actually use the same colors, although hers has already been uploaded, and although I have not seen hers, I had not seen hers when I uh, when I did this. We are using uh, doing a very similar technique. Well, the same technique really. The same colors. So great minds think alike. <laughs> I don't know if it's clear uh, on the video, but before I put the plastic wrap, I um, spray the paper with water to make the paint more liquid, to get more texture. You see me here uh, preparing the TARDIS. I'm just sewing it, then I'm going to be painting it with a blue color that I mixed. There is actually a color called TARDIS Blue, which I don't have. So I just mixed a mixture of blues to get as close as possible to the TARDIS Blue. This video is part of the Inspiration Conspiracy video hop. After you watch this video, click on the first link in the video description box below to go to the next video. Just keep clicking the first link in every video you watch until you are back to the first video you watched then click on the tour of our alumni gallery. I'm just retouching here. Um, I'll also be using um, a micron pen. It's a very fine one. I think it's a 0.01 uh, to put some line, some black lines to um, make everything pop and the um, targets look a little bit more 3D.
you can see me here using the Micron pen. Right, back to the background. Here, I'm just repeating the same technique again. Putting paint in, spraying with water, and then putting the um, um, plastic wrap on. You leave the plastic wrap until it's uh, it, it's dry completely before you put the next layer because otherwise the paint will just go back to level level out You'll see me eventually uh, um, writing down the code. I like to think inside the box because it's bigger on the inside. But my writing, I hate my writing. I've always hated my writing. I tried to make it look nicer, but I hated it. So in the end, I just printed the quote um, printed paper and just inked it and uh, finally I used uh, my Stabilo pen around the quote and the targets to make them pop and I used uh, Mod Podge on the on uh, where I I wrote with the Stabilo pen, I used the uh, Mod Podge to uh, seal it. Thank you for watching this video, and enjoy the hop.